You ain't damn me wait a whole what hour, up, a whole hour. It started with the penis part. Y'all ain't ready for this one. They ain't ready. Do you me and brands up? For what? It's solid when you hollow inside. Yo, it's your boy DME. All right, boys, let's get into this. <laughs> Joe Budden versus Peter Rosenberg. <laughs> All right, let's be real for a minute. Let's, let's calm down. Joe Rosenberg, Joe Rosenberg. Joe Budden, Peter Rosenberg. What's going on? What's going on with these guys? All right, so we all know about what happened at um, XXS and Tassion and Pesley. Recently passed away, um, and um, it was a tragedy. The kid was 20 years old, 20 years old, right? And Joe Budden, you know, he just he, you know, he just started a podcast, the Joe Budden podcast. And he, he said he was, uh, uh, when he had heard the news of what happened, you know, it hit Joe Budden kind of hard because, you know, he had, you know, he had some words for, you know, X, you know, you know Joe Budden was dealing with depression too. You know, it, 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 you know if, if you guys know the story, you know the story. But he's sitting there. He said he was crying in the car when he heard the news. Listen, and Peter Rosenberg apparently does some kind of sports, sports, talk sports. I don't know. I don't know. I want to listen to the guy. And um, he brought that. They were on the radio at the time, and they were talking, you know, they're doing a, a sports show, baseball, talk baseball. I don't know, whatever. And apparently uh, Peter Rosenberg um, uh, interrupted the broadcast to bring the news about what happened to X. And the other two hosts on there, they, they, they didn't know who X was. And they're like, who is that? And Peter Rosenberg was like, well, He's no angel. He's no angel. That was the first words to come out of his mouth. Joe took high, real offense to that. You know, let's take a quick listen. I must report to you guys that Triple X Tentacion has passed away. And then his two white co-hosts say, well, who was that? And the first thing out your mouth is, well, he was no angel? That's what he said? Yes. That was the first thing out of his mouth. Well, he was no angel. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, all right. Here's the deal. It seems like, you know, in this new internet era world we live in, y'all, we, we're, we're, we're just real just desensitized to a lot of stuff, man. Uh, a lot of y'all taking the persona of your internet, you're taking your, the, you, you, you lost your real life persona and you turn into this character, your internet character. That's who you, you've literally turned in. A lot of you have turned into that. All right. There's just, there's just no shame or compassion anymore for anything. I mean, you know, let's, let's, let's break it down real quick. Whatever you think of the dude, right? Remember, let's, 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 let's put it in all perspective. He's 20. He was 20. All right. So imagine me. I'm 40. That's double the age. What if I got gunned down in a robbery when I was 20 in the internet Twitter age, right? Let's say I was famous or whatever, just even if I wasn't people who knew me, right? And then this is what they would remember me by. Well, this guy, and imagine if this happened that day that I'm, I'm gunned down, right? And that day, people who know me come on Twitter and say, yeah, you know, the, the, my man DME died, but you know, he was, uh, arrested at, he was arrested at 15 for assault and battery on a police officer, not an angel. Not a good dude. Uh, he, was, he, was, he had just recently got arrested for a marijuana possession. He was on a 15-day work program. This guy's not a good dude, man. So, you know, it is what it is. And it happened, you know. Uh, you know, he had it coming to him, basically. You know, he wasn't a good dude. He wasn't an angel. It happens. See what I'm talking about? Like, you, like, you, you put, like, when I was 20, and then, oh, maybe he had, like, ecstasy in his system. You know, they could say about me. I, who knows? They had, obviously, definitely had marijuana in his system, right? That's what you would remember me by. When you're 20, you're stupid. You don't know nothing. All you 20 year olds out there, you guys know nothing. When I was 20, I convinced myself I knew everything. I thought I was the smartest 20 year old in the world. Looking back, I was the dumbest. One of the dumbest. The things I was doing. And we judge these kids because they're in the spotlight off rip. All right, they're, they're recording their whole lives. They don't, imagine, put yourself in their shoes. You can't, people just, they don't, they can't, they don't understand it. But regardless of that, just, uh, just the way we just deal with things these days in this internet world, man, it's crazy, man. Nobody cares, man, everybody's heartless. Everybody's heartless, unless it's their family members. Unless somebody that's close to them, they're heartless. They don't care. Everybody is, there's, we're just so numb to everything now. It's just, it's so trash, man. It's so trash, so 
And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm starting a new thing. Bozo of the day. Bozo of the day now. This wasn't the only reason I'm giving Peter Rosenberg the bozo of the day. At first inaugural one, you should be happy. Be thankful. But this yesterday, the same day that he, he made that comment that Joe Budden took offense to, <laughs> Mr. Rosenberg decides to drop his ten, top 10 go MC list. All right, Let, let's, this, let's, let's go over this list real quick. And you tell me if he think he deserves bozo of the day. Shout out to Charlemagne, all right? But anyways, listen, you can get on this list too, Charlemagne. You, 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 you acted like a bozo towards me about, about a year, a few, uh, a few months ago on Twitter. But you got all your charlatans after me. All right, shut up. Get you on this list. Anyways, number 10. This is Peter Rosenberg's top 10 list of all the greatest of all time MCs. Pun. Big, all right, pun. Number 10. Number nine, Red Man. Number eight, KRS-One. Number seven, Kendrick Lamar. Number six, Big Daddy Kane. Number five, Biggie Smalls. The Notorious. Number four, Eminem. Number three, Nas. Number two, Jay-Z. Number one, Rock him. All right. And, 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 and honorable mentions. Ice Cube, LL Cool J, Lil Wayne, Snoop Dogg, Black Dog, and the most disrespectful honorable mention I've ever heard in my life, Tupac. Listen here, Mr. Rosenberg, Peter. If you're not gonna put Pac in your top 10, take your honorable mentions and go somewhere with it. I don't need to hear your honorable mentions. So you got, shout out to Big Daddy Kane, but you got Big Daddy Kane six over Pac? You got M over Pac? Rakim is, uh, I understand, I get it. Number one? KRS one over Pac, Red Man over Pac. Listen, hey, it's your list. Do what you want with it. But this is the same bozo. Yes, the same bozo who said nobody bumped Pac in New York until All Eyes on Me came out. Nobody knew who he was. Nobody bumped that trash. Nobody bumped me against the world. Nobody bumped us strictly. Nobody bumped anything. Nobody bumped Thug Life. That's the guy who said that. Hot ninety seven. Y'all are trash, bro. Y'all are trash. Y'all expose yourself every single day. So I don't listen to you, but I hear all these sound bites. It's clips. I used to listen to you guys until you guys became so much trash. I couldn't do it anymore. I could not do it anymore. What a man, man. And I understand the list is to cause drama no matter what the list, but bro, that list is trash, bro. Rock him, Jay-Z, Nas, M, Biggie, Big Daddy Kane, Kendrick Lamar. Shout out to Kendrick, but top 10 goats. Like, yeah. why, why, did, listen, why, why even bother doing honorable mentions, bro? Just don't even bother, bro. Like, let's just leave it alone. I, 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 Big Daddy Kane, I get Big Daddy Kane, I get it, but come on, bro. What are we doing here? All right, like I said, I'm for it. I remember, I know Big Daddy Kane. KRS One, a Boogie Down Productions. I bought, I bought them all. I bought all that tapes. I bought, I had them all. I had every single one. Remember when KRS One was a was a was a vegan? Remember that song, No Beef? You stop eating meat. We're not eating meat anymore. All right, KRS One, bet no problem. We got you. You know that's what he was saying. But but come on, bro. Come on, man. But whatever, bro. That's your list. You got, you've always had a trash uh, uh, list. You've always had a trash opinions. And I don't know, but I ain't got to say nothing. Joe Budden put you in your place. He basically told, he, he went on Twitter and told uh, 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 Mr. Rosenberg, you are not part of the culture anymore. You're canceled. You're canceled. Joe Budden canceled you, bro. Uh, all I'm saying so. But you should be, you should be honored for one thing. You should be honored for one thing that you get the first inaugural DME's Bozo of the, the Day. Bozo of the Day. Now, if you all have any Bozos of the Day, you can feel free to tweet me them. I'm not going to do it every day. I'm going to do it when I feel like it's appropriate. So, Pac, 
Do you think that Peter Rosenberg deserves Bozo of the Day? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. nigga. All right. Peter Rosenberg, Bozo of the Day. Congratulations. You just played yourself. Peace.